James Elder, Eiffel TV, MTK Global with me. I've got Leon McKenzie, firstly looking very dapper, Devonair, how are you Leon? I'm good mate, just uh, just got back from LA, um, had to come back, really fly back for this fight really, so um, excited. Now before we talk about the fight, what, what's mm. been going on in LA, what have you been up to? So I'm, I'm shooting a, a film, I'm, I've got a film uh, coming out hopefully in the summer, um, can't give you an exact time, but um, it's, it's, it's a documentary more so, a 90 minute film. Um, about my journey and I'm incorporating uh, mental health uh, awareness into the documentary which allows me to interview other uh, athletes and I uh, get into real core of why sportsmen have so many issues. Mm -hmm. Now you, someone who battled through, through sort of these, these issues and depression and stuff, what advice would you give to any athletes out there that maybe going through similar sort of stuff? Just that uh, you're not alone. Um, Obviously, me personally doing everything I can to bring that awareness to everyone that maybe doesn't understand or feels like they're a little bit isolated. And um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to push out the boundaries and break some um, more so than anything. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's very important, especially within sport. Did I see you? You were working with The Rock the other day. <laughs> was that? Was that? Did I? Did I make that up? Or was that? Was nah, that that's, that's 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 the truth. That's the moves we're making. That's the moves we're making. It, right. Literally. Uh, I got hold of uh, The Rock through a, uh, a friend. Maybe we should call him Dwayne, Dwayne actually, rather than The Rock. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Dwayne. Um, and yeah, we, we went out, he flew me, I literally flew over, and um, honestly, unbelievable interview with him. Mm -hmm. Really good, he's a sound guy, like real humble. So um, it was just great to get some of, someone of his stature and, and, and do, you know, be a part of my film. Who else has been UK sort of people have been involved in this film so Yeah, far? there's been a few. I mean, UK-wise... Give, give us uh, just a couple. I don't want you to reveal everything. It's quite, it's, quite, names. it's quite a diversity. I think it's more like um, Kelly Holmes was fantastic. Obviously, Ricky Hatton's done it for me, Frank Bruno. Um, and then you've got, like, Jamie Redknapp, Alan Shearer. I mean, you know, the list goes on. I mean, Alan Shearer's been quite vocal on this subject in recent sort of TV stuff, and he's a very supporter of, of this... Of this sort of raising awareness for these sort of things. Raising awareness, yeah, more so for um, the uh, he done a documentary himself, didn't he? Uh, about you know like all the memory loss and stuff. So um, he's uh, he was fantastic as well. Just um, never obviously gone for anything himself, but it was great to get that um, interview of how his uh, thoughts were. Mm. Last time I saw you around boxing mm. was a. Uh, Roundabout when you was just about to enter the ring. Now you've sort of not sort of done with boxing, but you've hung mm. up the boxing gloves, so to speak. Have you are you appreciating boxing more, or are you appreciating less when you're watching boxing? What what goes through no, your mind? I've always respected boxing. I've always appreciated boxing. I just think that um, for me it was just time. I just didn't have the time to kind of start all over again and you know build. I'm not a young 25 year old. You know what I mean? I'm coming up 40 years old, and I had four years and fought for some some real good titles. Um, Unfortunately, it was just not the right time for me. Um, maybe left it a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. But happy with the, um, I guess, the effect that I had with, with the time scale I had it. Um, you know, it was great to be involved with boxing. <clears throat> now I'm doing a bit of boxing coaching at 12 times three. So we're doing a bit of boxing coaching. Is that Darren Barker's gym? Yeah, yeah. It's Daz's gym. So, you know, I'm in there sort of once, twice a week doing a bit of uh, boxing coaching. So I, I enjoy that. It's real, it's real good. I've applied for my sec, you know, trainer's license and, and and so forth. So I'm more, I'm going to keep involved with boxing, um, but more than my kind of real kind of aim is to do what I'm doing in regards with uh, making sure like uh, sportsmen have that security and uh, stability because there's not a lot, especially with, for boxers that finish. I've got shares in a company called Laps, um, and basically uh, Laps is a, is a company that is going to help sportsmen go you know build them cvs get into other areas of other careers mm. obviously get them into to training um and get their minds into you know because you know when boxing finishes these are a little bit lost so yeah that's my main aim mm. so now i know everyone's running their own journey but you, you've been involved in football you've been involved in boxing mm. We're recently seeing that rio ferdinand is going to make the transition into professional boxing we don't know if it's going to be a full-time career or one-off event i mean what, what are your thoughts on Rio making that transition? It's, it, Rio's his own man. Um, I've not spoken to him, but he, he's, uh, he's his own man. And I, and, I, and I don't knock anyone for just wanting to try something in their life. 
um, no matter what stage you are in your life. Um, I believe that when you have that vision and you want to try and do it, then for me that's winning, winning, winning in itself. So, uh, you know, when you do that in life, then you win, regardless of the outcome. Mm -hmm. um, at least he's having the, the balls to sort of step forward and say, do you know what, I want to do this. And that's, that's all I've got to say on that. Mm -hmm. How he does is, and how serious he takes it is really down to him. But he's been an athlete all his life and a top one at that. Can anything prepare you for being punched with 10 ounce gloves by another human weighing similar weight to yourself? Exactly that. I can't, I can't speak for him until he gets, especially with the weight division he's going into, which I think is cruiserweight. Um, I don't think I'd like to be hit by 10 ounce gloves by, by that size anyway. Um, but it hurts, man. It's not, it's, you know, boxing's not a joke. So I'm sure he'd be taking it serious. Uh, but how long, he, how long he fights and how, you know, why he's doing it is, 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 is what he knows, isn't it? I don't, I don't know him like properly, properly like that. Mm. Do you think we'll see more, more sports stars, more athletes in the future come to I, try I, their I, hand I, I think, at pugilism? I think you, it, it won't stop. I think you'll see a few more um, try and turn over and from all kind of different fields. But who knows? Who knows how it's going to develop like for the future? Mm. Who knows? We've seen that Floyd Mayweather announced that he will be now switching to MMA. I'm not too sure what the arrangements are or yeah, what the case that. is at the moment. Yeah. Potentially could be the Conor McGregor fight in an octagon. What, mm. what are your thoughts on that whole situation? Well, you know, it's not like he's short on a few quid, is it, Floyd? So I'm not too sure why he's taking the risk, because when you're getting into when you're getting into his uh, field, it's, it's a different ball game. Do you know mm. what I mean? So. Do you think it'll happen? Uh, I hope so, mate. I hope so. Yes, big man. Well right, done, man. Bless. Yeah, man. Definitely bless, man. Looking well, looking yeah, yeah, well. Watum, Dylan. What's that mean? Nothing, yeah, brother. Man. Just yo, my brother, man. Just big man. Saluting the big man quickly. You right? right. Running around. Like no, sir. I won't show up. You right? Let yeah. me get what, what I'm about. I'm about. Running around. Come find me. I'm about. I'm about. I'm about. Okay. Okay. Bless you. Um. Yeah. So no, you see floating about backstage. Yeah. 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 It's frightening. Um. So yeah, do you think it'll happen? Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor getting the oxygen. Who knows, mate. I don't think he really needs it, to be honest, does he? Yes, be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go into like McGregor's world, well, dear, because it's, it's very political then. Not just like grabs, grabs Floyd, this is game over, isn't it? Yeah, you don't know how good Floyd is, though. We've seen athletes switch sports, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, maybe like so. even like yourself, yeah, you switch so. to a different well, discipline. Well, in, in, that, in that sport, once they grab you, it's, it's hard to get out of. Unless you train that way every day, day in, day out. You know, I think most boxers would know like that. Do you think if Conor McGregor does get him in one of them sort of holds, it could be, could be one of those things that becomes a meme that goes sort of worldwide and travels? Um, do you think, and do you think that, A, B, do you think that level of potential embarrassment stops people from doing things? I really couldn't give you a, an answer on how the fight will actually go, but I don't think it would be very long. I really don't. And that's just just because of the skills that McGregor would hold within his his ring. It's a completely different format. All right then, put it like this: When Conor McGregor did the hammer punch against Mayweather, that became such a sort of um, popular thing on the internet with mm. people mocking it and stuff. Do you think the same would happen if Mayweather tried that discipline, with Mayweather being sort of the, the figure of, of fun? You see, the thing is, I've never seen Floyd have like a fight like that without keeping it clean, keeping it sharp, and and precise. I've not seen Floyd. But you pay to watch it, though, wouldn't you? I'll definitely be watching it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be watching <laughs> That's it. The thing. So That's that the is thing. why it would sell because you, 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 I'm intrigued to see how Floyd does, how Floyd adapts, yeah. and everything else. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, Neil McKenzie. Thank you yeah. very much from Twelve Four TV. I think Isaac will. Great to will, get you on will, the channel. Will, uh, do all right today, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna come come on this on another video because this yeah. this video is for tomorrow. But I'll see. Wicked, you will. I'm around. Not really touching on that so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you in a little bit. Wicked, brother. Thank you. Love.